Yeah, well, this is this is speed dating. Uh, this is our economic development matchmaking day. And what you have here behind us are uh, people who are meeting possibly for the first time. We've got our friends from all around the world, from, from Taiwan, from Canada, from Australia, from Vietnam. The idea is business to business exchange. So something we've talked about is how these communities can start working with each other. They all have connectivity, but they oftentimes don't think enough about how they can use that to reach out to others. More or less, this is an icebreaker for the attendees. And uh, we're always happy when we can bring people together who are intelligent communities, because that's how we make the world better. That's the deal here today. It was very important to learn about some of the communities that are really making a difference in their strategic plans for their intelligent community. Just getting a global perspective on that I think is very important and that's something that you can only get through these B2B matchmaking, through one-on-one -on -one conversations and really getting down to the, the deep conversation on what are some of the different initiatives that other communities are implementing. It's always a great pleasure to attend the uh, ICF Summit. I always learn a lot from uh, other people, other countries. Staten Island. Here at the University on Staten Island today. Exciting times again to be in New York for the ICF Summit 17. Just taking a look around and seeing what other cities are doing. Ultimately for me it's to bring it back to my community to talk to our city councilors and our mayor and to say listen you know there are other ways that we can be looking at things through a different lens. It's a great venue to network but more importantly learn what other cities and communities and regions are doing regarding the intelligent community concept, how it translates into community economic development. In particular, uh, the cities that you're here seeing this week in terms of the top seven and ultimately the winner are going to be the ones that we want to watch and take some best practices back home. This summit is important because it brings together communities and nations to not only discuss problems, but solutions. And it's great to see all the familiar faces. So uh, we're at the Museum of American Finance down on Wall Street. Top seven are now on their way. They're on a Staten Island ferry coming across from today's events. And the stars of the show are, are the top seven. I mean, the stars of the whole conference, the whole summit, are the top seven. When we talk about the Internet of Cities, the top seven, you know, represent that connection. They're the future. They're the ones we're looking at. So irrespective of what happens tomorrow night, tonight is really the awards ceremony. And they're going to get awards tonight, too. This year's summit, we are showing our delegates New York City. And today we're up in Harlem at 116th Street, showing them the renaissance of this region, as well as taking them to a great facility called MIST. It's been a real privilege, for, quite frankly, to plan this program. This brought us back into the city where we started in 2004 and is giving delegates a chance to see a living, vital, intelligent community in all of its many, many complex aspects. Because every city has approximately the same problems with uh, traffic, with uh, trash removal, with uh, social engagement, digitalization, and so on and so forth. Bringing all those people together in one place give all of us possibility to discuss all those problems and all, all those uh, ways how to solve that. But it's all the little bits and pieces which help shape my thinking and the types of things that I'll take back to council. Um, types of things that we can talk about and all those small things that you can only pick up from coming to a conference like this. And that's also why we want to be part of this community to share our experience and to learn from others and so far also this year is great so next year we'll be here again and I think everybody should. It talks about how cities and communities around the world become intelligent which will allow for people to be empowered. It brings out the full potential of our communities and I'm proud to be a part of this great, great movement. Minds are blown. This is a place where leadership really comes together and it is a meeting of the mind. So to be able to take this home with us and, and see what we can do and see what we can learn, this is a good place to be. It's a very, very important evening tonight. First and foremost, 
It's the last couple of minutes that we get to enjoy the, the honor of being the outgoing Intelligent Community of the Year. We had a great year as the ICF champion per se, but also the six other communities deserve a lot of respect because on their respective end, they put effort, they put their energy and also their creativity to reaching the final seven. So best of luck to all the finalists and congrats to whoever the winner is. Merci. So we're here tonight. We came up uh, to Central Park West and 76th Street. This is a Unitarian church. You know, it's like you're uh, in Buckingham Palace, right? Later tonight, <laughs> at a certain point in the evening, there'll be a little bit of drama. I'll have the top seven thanked one more time. We have a gold envelope. John Young will take it out. He will hand it to Robert. They will open the envelope. Ladies and gentlemen, and I will announce the Intelligent Community of the Year the is the city of Melbourne, Australia. Yeah, we're very pleased to accept this year's uh, award um, of Intelligent Community of the Year. Melbourne is a huge knowledge city. It's a huge capital of tech and innovation in the Asia-Pacific region, and we are thrilled tonight to have received this award. Thank you very much to the ICF and everybody else. And as the folks here push forward with what we do, and the ICF push forward with what we do, it's important to remember what you are doing is shaping the future of your communities, your cities, your countries, and there is nothing more important than that. Thank you very much. Good